up YouTube? This is your girl Megan. Welcome back to my channel cousins. However, if this is your first time joining me on today, welcome to the Hood Astro Queen. It's here that we use information from celestial bodies to help us gain a better understanding of our favorite celebrities, world events, but most importantly, our damn selves. So do us both a solid, hit that subscribe button to become part of the family, thumbs up this video to grow the channel, and click that notification bell so that way you will be alerted whenever I make a new post. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about the five times Michael Jackson was in Aries South Node. I've been on this Michael Jackson kick, okay? Yes, the king of pop. I am currently doing a full natal chart reading on him over on my Patreon. So if you are interested in seeing that, you actually really don't want to miss it because it's it's pretty thorough. Uh, I'll be posting that very soon. If you are not a part of my Patreon family, my link is in the description box. Feel free to sign up and join on today, okay? But yeah, I've been on this really huge Michael Jackson kick and I am obsessed. I mean, I've always been obsessed. Truthfully, ever since I was little, I remember me and my little cousins dancing to Michael Jackson, singing all the songs, like literally trying to reenact all the choreo. Michael Jackson is, has been, will always be one of the best entertainers to ever walk the face of this planet, point blank, period. And I just thought it would be very fitting because he is another person who really does exude a lot of their South Node energy. So, and I know I got a lot of requests to cover that airy South Node. Okay. And I got you. So without further ado, these are the five times Michael Jackson was an Aries South Node. Time number one, the first time Michael Jackson really showed to the world that he was in fact an airy South Node was when his hair caught on fire. Okay, during that infamous Pepsi commercial. And I know my subscribership is very young. So for those of y'all who may not be aware, okay, back in the day, yay, like the 80s, okay, Michael Jackson, this is when he was still black now. He and his brothers uh, signed on to do a commercial for Pepsi, okay? And during the commercial, there was this set. It was a stage set. So I guess they were supposed to be simulating a concert where there were lots of pyrotechnicians on standby, lots of explosions, lights, fire. I mean, they really wanted to bring out the whole shebang. And during this particular commercial, Michael Jackson was instructed to walk down a set of stairs. You know, he's walking down, dancing, singing. And as he's walking down the stairs, there's supposed to be this mega explosion behind him. Well, the director got a little bit too beside himself and wanted there to be a bigger explosion. So when Michael Jackson was standing at the top of the steps, the director instructed the pyrotechnicians to, you know, activate the explosion. And I mean, it was a really big explosion. And as the explosion kind of settled down, people noticed that a spark jumped into the middle of Michael Jackson's head and you know fire grows with air so he's walking down the stage dancing and there's footage out there somewhere y'all can go look it up I didn't feel like including it but as he's dancing down the stage people are just looking in awe because all you see is this flame on the top of his head that's growing bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and by the time he reaches the bottom of the steps I'm assuming he feels that heat okay he realizes it's a little sum sum on the top of my head and so he starts spinning and of course once again fire grows with air so he's spinning and then it was just like a big burst of flames right his head literally combusts and then all you see is the standby, the staff, a bunch of people like dive on him. They pat the flame out. I mean, he was screaming. It was crazy. And so he ended up having to go to the hospital as a result of it. And on the way to the hospital, that's where they took the infamous picture with him laid out on the stretcher with the glove on. And as a result, I mean, he had like second, third degree burns on his scalp that actually never recovered. The coroner who did uh, Michael Jackson's autopsy back in 2009 even reported that he had a really large patch of scalp in the middle of his head that did not grow hair. So for the rest of his life, this man had to wear hair pieces and wigs. And so it was really that deep. And I said that to say, you know, this was a really good example of an airy South Node incident because airy South Nodes have a lot of karma in the area of sustaining injuries such as cuts, 
burns and bruises and considering that Aries also does govern the head these are people who are definitely in positions where they could sustain injuries like this in fact a lot of Aries south nodes are just prone to injury in general but specifically injuries that once again could include things like being cut being burned and you just want to make sure you keep that head and that face. You want to make sure you keep those areas of your body protected and just pay particularly close attention to them. I wish Michael Jackson knew astrology back in the day because if he did, somebody could have told him that's not the best idea, sir. You may not want to be sitting at the top of the steps when the explosion is going off. Yeah. So there's that i actually would like to see a transit like uh on that particular day to see what transit actually even initiated that head fire but anywho the second time that michael jackson demonstrated to the world that he was a airy south note was when he cut up his nose and completely rearranged his face so once again, Aries does govern the head, but it also governs your face in terms of your eyes, your nose, uh, even your mouth. And a lot of Aries South nodes tend to rearrange or tweak their faces over the years. Now on one instance, a lot of it could include or be the byproduct of injury. So an example of this would be a person, let's say they're hanging out uh, at a baseball game and the baseball flies out into the audience, pops them in the face and completely shatters their nose, right? And then they will have to undergo reconstructive surgery. That's a really good example of an airy south node, not only just injuring their face, right? The first point, but also the second point, having to uh, tweak, right? Or have some type of work done to this part of the body. But then you also have the second type of airy south node who were contrary to what most people would think, these people could be a lot more insecure, a lot more insecure and a lot more concerned with the way other people view them than other people would give them credit for. And that's because Aries is still the opposite polarity of that Libra North node. And a lot of times people tend to fluctuate and bounce back and forth between those two energies. So even with that being said, these are people who can just spend a lot of time really nitpicking their faces. And Michael Jackson was definitely the latter of the two. He started off by getting his nose done like really early on while he was still black. I believe most of his family did, if I'm not mistaken. But then as time went on, his nose got smaller and smaller. By the time this man died, his nose looked like a little slit. You know those little snake noses, those little lizard noses where it's literally like two little slits right above the mouth. That's what his nose looked it looked like it caved in. It was so bizarre, so crazy, but it's so airy south note. Another celebrity example of the airy south node phenomenon in the face specifically the nose it's summer walker she came out one way okay she's a heavy airy south node she's an airy sun and south node so she came out one way looking beautiful and then over time started messing with her nose and she got a lot of blowback from that because a lot of people were like your nose is noticeably fake as hell what did you do to your face so there's that now, the third time Michael Jackson demonstrated that he was an Aries, South Note was when he made it clear and spoke about the fact that he grew up in a very abusive household. Aries South Notes often come from many past life cycles of where either they were very violent people themselves or even could have come from very early life conditionings, right? Where they could have grown up in very violent households, very abusive households, where violence and conflict and things like that are just very second nature to them. And you have the ones who embody this energy themselves and then they grow up to project it onto other people, which is why a lot of Aries South nodes can be very problematic. They can be very conflict driven. They can be just people who are constantly on the defense. You know, they can be troublemakers or people with really bad tempers and stuff like that. However, you also have the kind which Michael Jackson was also the latter kind of these where they just internalize it. And they can become very self-destructive, which he was. It could also lead to 
point four, which the fourth time that Michael Jackson demonstrated that he was an Aries South Node, was when he, I mean, admitted to have an identity issue. And it obviously explains bullet points two and three because it really all starts with your own perception of self, the way that you view yourself, how satisfied you are with yourself. Now, some of that also has to do with him being a Virgo son and Virgos are never satisfied with anything, right? And he even admitted that himself several times throughout his life. I'm never happy with what I see. I'm never 100% satisfied with whatever is looking back at me in the mirror. However, a lot of Aries South knows either tend to undergo issues with their identity or even sometimes their names. It's not uncommon for these people to have different names or go through name changes throughout the course of their lives or maybe even have like really big identity crisis to the point where they may even want to switch careers and all that kind of stuff but for Michael Jackson it definitely played out in terms of his physical body right and um, I would just go out on a limb and say a lot of those identity issues could have also included race but that's a different video for a different day okay and so the fifth and final time Michael Jackson proved himself to be an airy South Node was when he used his music to really channel his sexuality, but also his hyper aggressive nature. And I know on the surface, it kind of seems like Michael Jackson, hyper aggressive, sexual, because these are things that are completely counter to what he seemed to be in real life, right? Michael Jackson was this meek, soft spoken, frail, almost even kind of feminine man. But when you really take a step back and look at the type of videos and the type of music that he made, a common theme was this kind of hyper masculine macho ism mentality, especially when he's making music about women or like music about him even aggressively pursuing women. Um, so some of those videos could be like, remember the time, even when you listen to the lyrics like this man is talking about do you remember the time we fell in love when I was blowing your bike out on the beach on the park you know what I mean like the video is like I'm finna go to the pharaoh and serenade your wife and let her know that I used to beat that cat up back in the day do you remember okay even the way you make me feel where he's you know howling down cat calling the woman on the street grabbing his crotch you know gyrating beat it where it was essentially about gangs, gang violence. And although Michael Jackson wasn't necessarily in the gang per se, he did use a lot of gang members. Uh, you know, they were supposed to be having a knife fight, which is also very, very Aries. And just a host of other videos, even uh, in the video he did with Chris Rock, or was it Chris Tucker? The Rock My World video, where they were supposed to be engaged in a fight with some type of mob, Italian family, and Michael Jackson is fighting people. Like, Michael Jackson, when you really pay attention to it, he was all about this airy style note hyper masculine, hyper aggressive, and hypersexual. Like, the man would gyrate, grind, grab his crotch, you know, very suggestive. And I think that. He really used his music to channel a lot of this energy. In fact, a lot of airy South Nodes can even be just as bad as Scorpio South Nodes in terms of either promiscuity or their hypersexual nature. Because you have to think about it. There's still that Mars influence, that Martian element. And the planet Mars literally deals with your sex drive. So, of course, there are other things that factor in. And of course, in Michael Jackson's case, in his regular day-to-day -day life, I don't think he was so much of this, right? Obviously, but definitely his music reflected it. So yeah, this concludes my video on the five different times Michael Jackson was an airy South Node. Y'all feel free to drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. What did you think about Michael Jackson? What did you think about some of these videos? And what has been your experience either as an airy South Node or knowing someone who's an airy South Node? And yeah, make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until the next video, I holla.